So how many dozens of stories have we done about large-scale black mob violence at Chuck E. Cheese? You know, the kid's place. How many? Dozens. I mean, we've done stories down in Miami. We've done stories in Pittsburgh. We've done stories in New York. You know, we've done stories in Camden. We've done stories in Houston. We've done stories in... I mean, this is a long list. Did I say Cleveland? Yeah, I said Cleveland. Done stories in outside of Miami. So at some point, somebody's going to start connecting the dots. Well, they already did in Chicago because they already gave one Chuck E. Cheese in Chicago its walking papers. It was in a white neighborhood. A bunch of black people used to go there all the time and start fights. So the, basically, the people in Chicago said, you're not welcome in this shopping center. You're not welcome in this mall. Hit the road, Jack. They had to close their Chuck E. Cheese and go somewhere else. Racine, Wisconsin, Indianapolis, Florida. There's a pattern here. Violence at Chuck E. Cheese is a regular feature of life there, and it's a black thing. Easy enough to disprove. Anybody out there want to take down good old Colin, big bad Colin? Want to take me down? Calling me names is not really taking me down. Everybody's wise to that game. Just get a bunch of fights at Chuck E. Cheese where white people are doing it. Oh, and the couple of fights where white people are involved defending themselves, that doesn't really count, does it? So here's another story. It's in New Jersey. It's right across the river from where good old Colin lives, Deptford, New Jersey. So let's just call this video just another Chuck E. Cheese video. Pocket knife, a stabbing, and punches thrown. This was the scene at a South Jersey Chuck E. Cheese's last night. The whole thing caught on camera. NBC 10 Sydney Long spoke to people who were inside at the time and could feel the mm -hmm. tension building. She joins us now live in Deptford tonight with new details on that part of the story. So Sid, what do they have to say? Aaron and Keith, one woman who didn't want to show her face on camera said she could feel that tension. She said she left her food on the table, grabbed her toddler son, and came outside. She says it was it was because the place was packed and parents were getting upset over wait times. Was it? But it turns out cigarettes, a fight over cigarettes, could be at the center of this brawl. Look closely, and you can see punches being thrown as two women fighting inside this Deptford Chuck E. Cheese sparked a brawl that involved 15 to 20 people all in front of kids. Police say it began with a pocket knife and a fight about cigarettes. It spilled onto the front sidewalk and parking lot. Two moms, which I think is crazy because me and my sister, we both have young ones like this age. and. To bring a kid to, you know, where you think it's going to be fun. Not one, but five area police departments responded to break up the brawl. An employee who tried to break up the altercation suffered a cut to his hand. And police say the women, ages 24 and 47, both of Philadelphia, face charges and will face a judge. Why would y'all do that in front of children? They could have been scared. They didn't know what was going to happen to them. Marina Granger canceled her niece's birthday party at this location today. We already told her for, like, last week, you're going to check cheese on your birthday. Now today her birthday now was like now feel like we failed her like disappointed she's a child you know so like she still look forward to certain things and mom Danielle Gagne isn't sure she'll visit soon we set an example for our kids is that how you want your kid to be like you know it's just I don't know mind-boggling to me we were talking about that on the way here and they have to think of the kids first you always have to think of the children first Ginny D'Antonio of Cherry Hill won't stop bringing her granddaughter to play but she only visits on the weekdays not weekends people are so nice it's always fun she has a blast and um, it's been safe now, Chuck E. Cheese could not say whether or not patrons would be given refunds for leaving early last night. They say they are cooperating fully with police and they are proud of their employees and their team to work quickly to calm this situation, including their general manager, who was treated for a cut to his hand. The Chuck E. Cheese is now the only place you can take your kids for their birthday. None of these parents had the slightest idea that Chuck E. Cheese is kind of an occasion of violence among black people and you can get caught up in it. I don't know, maybe some people think that's part of the birthday attraction. Or maybe other people just don't want to make the black kids angry. <laughs>